Hello everybody, in this lecture we will be solving 1964 IMO problem number 4. Here is a view of this problem. 17 people correspond by male with one another, each one with all the rest. So if I put all these people around the circle, starting from person 1, 2, 3 and so on, up to 17. So we would have all the people around this table now what's fancy is that each of these people will correspond with every other person in the room right so for instance person one will have a correspondence with uh, so if you have person one here it will have a correspondence with all the other 16 people and so on in their letters only three different topics are discussed so now that's strange so what it means is each of these connections between person 1 and the others have three topics that are discussed, namely the topics A, B, and C. Well, uh, in this picture I haven't shown it, but each, each person is corresponding with the remaining 16 people. For instance, when you check 2, 2 is corresponding with 1, obviously, so they are discussing a topic here. So correspondence is mutual, I guess. 2 and 3 are discussing something, and so on. 2 and 7, 2 and 8 all these people are uh, th these are all the people that two is discussing with and the same thing for three and so on <clears throat> so three is also discussing with all these people as well okay finally each pair of correspondence uh, deals with only one of these topics so which we discussed uh, earlier so there are three topics and for instance if person five and sixteen they are talking when they do talk they talk about one of these three topics. So we would like to prove that there are at least three people who write to each other about the same topic. So I need to find three people, right, I, J, K, in a circle such that I and K are discussing a topic, I and J are discussing the same topic, and J and K are all discussing the same topic, right? So, for instance, they are all discussing topic A or topic B or topic C and so on. So how to prove that? This problem is intimately related to Ramsey's theorem, which is a very uh, beautiful theorem of combinatorics. But uh, to, to simplify and to explain what's going on in this particular case, let's focus on one of the players or one of the people and let this person be person one. So I will uh, make use of pigeonhole principle to establish that among all these correspondences that one has with the remaining 16 people, um, at least one, at least uh, one topic, uh, let's pick topic for instance A, at least one of the topics would be, uh, be with uh, the remaining uh, six people. So I claim that um, at least number one talks uh, with six people the same topic the reason is that if if it is uh, at most five all these topics are talked with at most five people each so that won't work right because if one is corresponding with five people only regarding issue a and is corresponding with five people only with issue b and five people only with issue c in total the a would have the person one would have only 15 correspondences which is not true because we know now, a person one is corresponding with 16 people all together so therefore person one is discussing at least one topic with six people right so at least with six people so let those six people without loss of generality be uh, persons two three four five six and seven so five six and seven so um person one is discussing with these six people uh, let's say without again loss of generality topic a so this is the main subject of correspond and we know we should have at least six people where person a is corresponding with the corresponding the same topic now first of all the people uh, the, the the people two through seven two three four five six seven they are also corresponding amongst themselves right and i claim that none of these correspond uh, these letters or correspondences uh, is related to topic a if by any chance two of these people are corresponding topic a 
then we uh, we get a, a contradiction right because then we have the cycle that we needed right so this this and this then we are done so therefore that can't be possible because we have just found ourselves three people which discuss the same topic so therefore well, the consequence is that uh, so people two three four five six and seven two three four five six and seven on their correspondences they do not talk about topic a they only talk about topic b and c does that make sense so all these correspondences they only talk about topic uh, b and c but now that gives us an idea let's pick another person from this group let's say person two so person two is corresponding with these five uh, uh, five remaining people namely three four five six and seven because there are uh, two topics of discussion at least uh, person two is discussing with three people on one of these topics right so at least three of them uh, so let's say that this is topic b so um person two is discussing topic b with at least three people maybe more but we know that there's a topic which is discussed with at least three people let those three people be three four five and let this topic be a topic b now again the same story if uh if i claim that none of these people three four five can discuss topic b with each other for instance if three and four are discussing topic b with each other then we have the desired cycle and the problem is over right so so therefore it must be the case that three four five are discussing a separate topic but they cannot discuss topic a because of the first step of the problem and they cannot discuss certainly topic b because of the second step so it must be the case that these three people are all discussing the remaining topic which is topic c but it's impossible because three four five if they all discuss topic c with themselves then we have found the cycle uh, where uh, three people they discuss the same topic so therefore we have just proven step by step that it is impossible uh, to not have three people discussing a topic among 17 people in fact this wouldn't be the case if we had only 16 people instead of 17 people or if we had still 17 people but instead four topics then in those particular instances uh there might be occasion where no such cycle happens but not in this particular case if we have 17 people and three different topics we have to have a cycle of three people which all discuss the same topic with each other so that solves problem uh, four from 1964 hope you enjoyed the video i'm looking forward to see you guys in our next lecture